Hello from Bonn in Germany. We are here in front of the university in Bonn. It's a pleasure for us to send today some greetings to Japan Art Mile in Japan. Since November 2014, we are in contact to develop some common work. We met each other for the first time during the UNESCO World Conference on Education for Sustainable Development, ESD, in Nagoya, Japan. We are looking for cooperation with the project of Japan Art Mile. Japan and Germany are leading countries in ESD. Two weeks ago, we had a face-to-face -face meeting in Ottawa during the UNESCO week about ESD and global citizenship education. We decided to share now the best practice of Japan Art Mile also with other schools and countries with this video. During the UNESCO week here in Ottawa, also best practices are presented. Atsuko Shiwako is the founder of Japan Atmai. Since over 10 years, she is engaged in education for sustainable development and global citizenship education. For this reason, she started the project Japan Art Mile. I have a few questions to you, Atsuko Shibako. What are the main goals of your international Japan Art Mile project? Our main aim uh, is to foster the global citizens global citizens who will create the future. Uh, we connect the Japanese uh, schools with schools from different countries and they collaborate uh, in this project with each other. Uh, see the mural. This mural is created by Japanese schools and uh, uh, Indonesian school. They, uh, before they creating the mural, they share a lot of information and ideas on their theme. Their theme is environment and coexistence with disabled people. So uh, this is their interactive and collaborative learning. And the mirror is the outcome of their learning. So beautiful, isn't it? And uh, the teacher, not only students, but also teachers can uh, develop their com uh, competencies. Can you please give us some numbers about the success of your project? We connected more than 1,100 schools from uh, 61 countries and there are 40,000 students and 2,000 teachers we connected. Tomorrow we will continue our best practice of the Japan Art Mile project with first-hand experience in a rural school in Ingleside. The school is 100 km outside of Ottawa. Due to dangerous road conditions during winter time, we needed a second startup to reach to this village. So we visit now the Rothschild Osnard Brick School in uh, Ingleside. And uh, I'm really glad to get first-hand experience in this school today. This is our story in the Japan Art Mile project this year. We started off by making introduction cards. Our partners in Japan also made introduction cards. This is our school! Then came our first Skype call. Hi. Hi. Hey, everyone. Hi.
Well, I did mostly the soccer area. I worked on hockey. Their gym is big and they went skiing. I also like their food, it was okay. I'd like to, to speak with you a little bit about your project uh, and I'm happy to be here today in Ingleside. Uh, so it's a rural school and uh, I love it to be here. Already. Good, and, and we uh, love having you here. So yes. Wonderful. And, and already the journey uh, from, from Ottawa to come here, this was uh, exciting for me to be here. Okay, thank you again for picking me up in Ottawa. My pleasure, my yeah. pleasure. And uh, so uh, let us jump uh, directly in the project. Uh, from, 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 from where did you hear about this Japan Art Mile project? Um, probably about eight years ago, I attended a conference about uh, technology and education um, in Toronto and heard about the broader network, the International Educators Resource Network, the iEARN network. And I attended a workshop and met some people that had taken part in one of the first years of the Japan Art Mile project. So uh, about two years after that, I, I started my first, uh, my first project doing a Japan Art Mile mural with a partner class in Japan. Uh, I was at another school then. I was uh, teaching in Prescott, Ontario then, mm -hmm. also along the St. Lawrence Seaway. Um, and had a wonderful experience and in between I've done it a few times at a few different schools and this is my second time that I do an Art Mile, Japan Art Mile project with, uh, with a class here at Rothwell Osnabrück. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, so you have already personal experience uh, with these kind of projects yeah. and uh, uh, so I can, can imagine uh, uh, is it helpful for you to have these kind of projects, international projects, for you in person, for the students, or what is your impression? Um, where we live in Ontario is very, it's a rural part of Ontario, it, there's not a heavy population, and it's a very homogeneous population, so I find that a lot of our students um, don't have experience in meeting people from other cultures, other countries uh, that speak other languages. And these, uh, these sort of global communication projects seem to be a vehicle that works so well. It, it doesn't cost a lot of money. You don't have to book a field trip on an airplane. Um, and uh, the ability for them to make friends across oceans and continents is, uh, is amazing. And the Japan Art Mile project has been has been really uh, uh, productive in, in that regard because we've had wonderful structure and cooperation along mm -hmm. the way. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell me a, a little bit about uh, the flow? Uh, I, th I think you start in September with this project and it is going until March, huh? so you have the right. several months? Uh, right, it starts, we, uh, we introduce each other, like we introduce ourselves and our partner class introduces themselves um, throughout probably the month of September and then into October we would have already shared uh, some communications online and possibly even uh, you know mailed out a package an introduction package a welcome package and uh, for us we ended up doing a Skype call with our partner class in uh, in the end of the month of September so we we jumped right in and, and met our class early and uh, my partner teacher in Japan, Miho Hayakawa, this year um, was really good about organizing pairs of students right away. We have almost the exact same number of students in the class. So how by, many? How many? Uh, we, how had, they had 30 and yeah. we ended up having 30. We started with 28 students and we had a couple of students join us. Okay. Um, so every student in my class had a a partner in the Japanese class and my students are uh, grades five and six and their class I believe was grade five mm -hmm. um, so they're the same age uh, kind of very similar in uh, in the demographics of the class so when they um, partnered up 
uh, and they, they sort of uh, became friends with their partner right away. So when they wrote a card, they would address the card to their partner. And uh, when they spoke on the Skype call, they would, we would alternate with the partners speaking, standing in front of the camera at that time. So, mm -hmm. um, and how, how, how did you uh, figure out, so I'm learning uh, it from, from your uh, hints here, that you partner uh, student right. by student, yeah? right? So it's it's not a not only in general the whole class. In addition, it can addition, be. It but, can be. Ah, okay. But this okay. teacher, uh, Miss Hayakawa, yeah. um, w suggested right away that we partner the kids up, and ah, the okay. the kids have obviously loved it. The students. Ah, okay, loved it. that's good. Yeah. Um, so, so so they have in addition also maybe emails or something like this. The email perhaps ah. maybe down the road we'll we'll extend the relationship with them yeah. but in the scope of the project it, it will come to an end in about within the next month i think you make a wonderful job here with your students and uh, with your teacher with your project teacher thank you and uh, I, I also got uh, the impression that they got uh, a lot of ex uh, of international experience uh, with their japan art mind project and uh, yeah, to make it short, I would uh, like to ask you a few questions about your experience as a principal. Sure. And uh, did you give them support for this project? I think it's really important that um, all of our staff and students in a, um, and indeed in our district uh, and amongst all of our schools, it's important to support the notion of empowering people. Um, so to, to, to that end, um, when staff come forward with projects or ideas that they believe will be able to help uh, connect kids to a wider uh, opportunity space and to build a better future, which is part of our district's mission, um, then indeed it's uh, incumbent upon us to figure out ways to support that. Um, this is a project that uh, the teacher, Jim Lamaru has been conducting many years, and when he came to our school, um, wanted to continue to grow with that program. So our first question, of course, is how can we help uh, mm -hmm. to continue to build it? Okay. Is uh, this international experience also helpful for you as a principal of a school? Absolutely. I think it's, uh, I mean, we're well into the 21st century. Um, um, so many of us, even as professionals uh, throughout the world, are connected digitally, and we indeed know that our kids are connected digitally too. So uh, as these tools become so much more accessible um, for our kids, we need to, to help them understand that connectivity and give them those opportunities to connect to humanity in a, in a much wider, wider way than we've never been able to do before. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, would you suggest also other principles to get the same experience? Absolutely. Pardon our bell. We just had yeah. a bell there. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. I absolutely would uh, strongly recommend any type of program like this that uh, connects kids um, around the world. Um, for example, I had an opportunity to uh, sit in the class with Mr. Lamru one evening where we had parents of our kids attend as well and do a, um, a video presentation to our kids um, in Japan as well and, and that interactivity and we could really see firsthand as you saw today um, the, the back and forth communication that can happen as well as that collaboration on the project piece which is really exciting so yeah I very uh, very strongly recommend it. Okay thank you very much. Thank you. We had wonderful days in Ottawa and changed new ideas during the UNESCO week. Besides this global conference, it was very important for us to spend also one day in a small village of Canada. The children of the rural school in Ingleside encouraged us to continue work also with Germany. I will bring it now to our Bon Green Valley to develop some new ideas and concepts. After some strong winter days with minus 20 degrees in Ottawa, Canada, we enjoy now the Magnolia in Bon Green Valley. We are glad to start this year pilot project between Japan Art Mile and the first school in Germany. 
Furthermore, we will develop some new experiences in Germany about ESD and global citizenship education.